Hey, what's going on, heroes? Pudgy Force here. So today, um, we're going to be taking a look at the most recent trailer to come out of Pokemon for Pokemon Sun and Moon. I figured I would covered the last trailer, or at least I covered, you know, a trailer. I noticed that there's been one or two that I've missed since then, but I've covered a trailer on Pokemon. I'm a huge fan of Pokemon, and so I thought with this new trailer that came out, I was really excited when I saw it myself. We'd go over it, talk about it a little bit speculate perhaps um, I know I did a lot of speculating in the last video so just a warning a lot of this is going to be speculation um, I don't have any insider knowledge from Nintendo I can't tell you something that isn't actively presented in the video we're just gonna speculate have some fun look at some cool new stuff that's going on um, before we get into it though just a couple things um, I did finish the article for the Manaphy 20th anniversary so that's going to be in my blog if you haven't seen it already, I'll put the link down in the description below for you, so you can take a go, uh, go take a look at that. Um, and I thought just for fun, you know, I got some um, some code cards lying around, and so I thought it'd be fun to kind of give one away with this Pokemon video. This is for a X and Y Roaring Skies pack. So if you guys play the TCGO online game, this is a chance for you to acquire a Roaring Skies pack. So I'll be putting the code up in three, two. One. Wait for the camera to focus there. There you go. There is your XY Roaring Skies Booster Pack. First one to get, put that in gets it. Okay, so that's it for now. We're just going to get into this video and let's see what we've got. Okay, so first we've got some new Pokemon discovered. The first being Picky Peck. Normal flying type abilities, keen eye, and skill link. So, Picky Peck was the little bird Pokemon that we saw in the very first Sun and Moon trailer. And I like its name, Picky Peck. It's a really cool name. And its abilities, keen eye, that just means its accuracy can't be lowered, but skill link looks like it's going to have some potential. Um, skill link, in case you guys are not aware of what skill link is, skill link is an ability that when you use a move that can hit anywhere from two to five times you always hit for the maximum number of times so a popular skill link pokemon is cloister with rock blast um i can't actively think of any others off the top of my head but skill link on picky peck looks like it's going to be interesting it kind of looks like a woodpecker and its name is picky peck like you know like a peck like a woodpecker so it seems to me like this is where we're getting to speculation. It might have Fury Attack. I know that my Fero in red version, which is on my 3DS, has Fury Attack. And I think being the normal typing stab with Skill Link for the guaranteed 5 hits could be a strong combination. There also might possibly be some new multi-hit moves that Picky Peck gets. I can't imagine them giving it Skill Link if it doesn't have multi-hit moves like that. Hits that 2-5 to five times. And... Why would it have Skill Link if it couldn't do that? So I think that's going to be something for it upcoming. But I love this Pokemon. It looks really cool. And next we have Young Goose. He's a straight normal type. He has Stakeout and Strong Jaw. People are calling this the Donald Trump Pokemon. I don't know if you see it. Do you see it? Kind of looks like Donald Trump. I hope, I hope it wasn't modeled after Donald Trump. I hope Donald Trump doesn't sue Nintendo for it because... He has a reputation for suing people, but this is the mongoose, weasel, mongoose thing that looks like uh, Donald Trump named Young Goose. It's a normal type. Its abilities are Stakeout and Strong Jaw. Now, Strong Jaw, we know what that does. Biting moves do extra damage. He looks like he's got the teeth for it. Stakeout is something new, and from what I've heard, Stakeout actually... Uh, it does bonus damage. It's kind of like, um, like Pursuit. It's like the opposite of Pursuit. Pursuit does bonus damage to a Pokemon when it's switching out. Uh, Stakeout supposedly does bonus damage to a Pokemon that's switched in. So, that can be really good for this Pokemon. If it, if, if it evolves, we haven't seen an evolutionary line for it, I don't believe. But, if it evolves, and it gets stronger, and it has a really good offensive, uh, a good strong attack power stakeout looks like it could be a very scary Pokemon to switch in on. But he looks like we should say specify here. You know, every 
generation has its Route 1 bird, which evolves twice, its Route 1 normal type, which evolves once, so Young Goose might evolve once, and its Route 1 bug, which looks like it's going to be Grubbin, who's a straight bug type. Its ability is Swarm. Now, I'm not sure what Swarm does. I don't know what Swarm does, but it's a straight bug type. It looks kind of cute. Um, supposedly, its Pokedex information says that it tends to hang out near power plants, so it may evolve to become a bug electric type. We'll see. We're seeing a lot of interesting combinations that you don't see a whole lot of right now. It's got the traditional string shot like every bug type does. And now they're going to tell us a bit more about Magirna, who's a steel fairy type. It has the ability Soul Heart. That poor Eevee just got wrecked. Okay. So Magirna's Soul Heart activated and its special attack went up. Um, that seems to me that Magirna gets more powerful when it sees its allies fall in battle. Like it, like kind of like, it's kind of like a rage actually. It's like, oh no, my friend, I'll get you for that. Um, it may also include enemy Pokemon, but they don't show it happening for enemy Pokemon. At that point, it'd kind of be like a better Moxie. Because Moxie does that. Oh, a Pokemon. I fainted a Pokemon. Um, I get an attack boost. In this case, oh, you fainted my ally. I get a special attack boost. If it works, if it's just for the ally, then it's really only good in double battles. But double battles is the competitive format. So it's kind of gone to be that way. It's no longer single battles for, um, for much of anything. But we get to see its special attack, the floor cannon. Which just ate up that Pangoro because it's a fairy type move. Brand new battle mode! Battle Royale! This is a four player free for all mode. I'm so excited for this. Let's pause for a quick second here. I've seen other YouTubers um, who do Pokemon videos do like their own four player free for all where they basically do uh, team doubles, but they make it where uh, you can attack your partner and basically go for last man standing now this one now that one's a little flawed because if both people on the other side faint and you still have the guy next to you you as a team technically win and then the battle's over you don't get the opportunity to duke it out with the last guy so, but this is an actual true four player free for all you can attack anybody and I kinda like the arena it looks like a game show also kind of looks like a boxing ring. Now, in case you didn't notice, we'll see if we can get, yeah, see, we'll stop there. The trainers in this arena also kind of show off the fact that they're each wearing different clothes. So it's not just different skin color and different hair color and different eye color. It's also down to actual different clothes. So while before we kind of suspected based off of the character creation, that you could get different outfits as he played, this pretty much confirms it, because there's different outfits here. This guy's got a different shirt, different hat, different pants than the default hero. And I believe there's another female trainer in here that's the same way. Game's still available November 18th, 2016. Hasn't moved up, hasn't moved back. But that is super cool. I actually really, really enjoy that trailer. I'm super excited for that four player free for all. That seems like it's going to be super fun. I look forward to trying it out with some friends. It's going to be chaotic. I love it. Um, Young Goose scares me. He looks really scary, but it looks like he can be really strong. Picky Peck looks really cool and also looks like he can be really strong. Grebin, it's cute. I don't know if it's going to be strong or not. Again, I don't know what Swarm does, so I'm going to have to look that up. This is going to be a short video today because it is a shorter video. There's less to talk about. There's just three new Pokemon in the new battle mode. But this is really exciting. I'm still super stoked for Pokemon Sun and Moon. I hope you guys are too. Um, again, my mythical Pokemon Manaphy review is in the description below, so check that out. I'll also post the description to the video uh, by itself so you don't have me talking over it. You can watch it for yourself if you like. Um, but that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for future videos that I will do and check out other videos that I've done. And as always, heroes, I'm Pogi Force, and you guys stay awesome.
Take care.